Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. We're going to be doing the reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's jump right into your reading, Capricorn. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of August 2020. Spirit, guys, what are the messages for Capricorn? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2020. Capricorns, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2020. All right, let's see. All right, Capricorn. So I see a lot of major transformative energy here. Uh, for some of you guys, I do want to mention there is almost a very close niche uh, that you're going to be experiencing, if not you're already experiencing this, that is very connected or linked to your family or the family dynamic. I feel that there's going to be uh, there's going to be people in your family or in the family dynamic that are really going to need your support. And we're talking about more on an emotional level, emotional type of support. Um, I know that what they're showing here is a very close link to family. And that's something that Capricorns are very known for. But I think that for this month of August, there's going to be a lot of healing in regards to family or in regards to grudges, hurt, and pain that you've been holding on to for quite a while or that those around you have been holding towards you, Capricorn. There is a lot of communication that's coming through for you guys where I feel that this is like, uh, this is almost like uh, conversations um, or situations and circumstances that put you in a situation where I don't want to use the word confrontation, but communication is going to be key here. And you got to try the best you can, Capricorn, for people not to get, um, not to get your explosive temper. And I know that that's something like Capricorns are known for being the most like, uh, patient people right in the world um but you guys are taking time bombs and the reason for that is because you guys are able to suppress so much and we're talking about you can be suppressing feelings for like years without even wanting to deal with the emotions but once something like something will trigger or something will happen that triggers that bomb to explode <laughs> and then that's when they see your bad side. So what they're telling you here is it's not about pointing fingers or blaming. Um, if you experience that communication is an, itch, an issue for the month of August, where the way you express yourself or the way you communicate uh, may come off very aggressive or may come off as, uh, you know, very standoffish or being cold or even judgmental. Uh, and they try to communicate that to you. Don't take it personal, Capricorn. Take it as constructive criticism. You can work on your patience and you can work on learning to be a little bit more tactful in the way you verbalize your feelings. Um, so th what they're saying here is, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with issues in regards to family, um, suppressed feelings, and we're talking about things from childhood where they may start to come up or you may be dealing with people that perhaps in your family uh, there's been some uh, there's been some um, some uh, what's the word I'm looking for there's been some distancing or uh, there was falling out of communication with a specific person in your family um, and I feel that for the month of August they may actually be needing your assistance your guidance or your wisdom uh, and what they're telling you here is don't be so aggressive in the sense of like as an example if they come to you and they're like well you know I need advice on this situation and then you're like well you just shouldn't be an asshole period you know uh, don't use the, that harshness to communicate even though yes perhaps they hurt you in the past even though they haven't been the best of people uh, rise above that Capricorn rise above that be the bigger person and 
try to give them a lending hand or try to give them wisdom or advice that is genuinely to the best of their interest. You Capricorns are amazing at giving advice. And what they're saying here is put ego aside. Should that situation arise, give them an advice that comes from your heart, not from a judgmental place. Okay, that's going to be very important. Now, for others of you, I do see a triangle here. And what they're speaking about is protection. A lot of you guys have been having this need or this feeling like life has just been difficult for some of you guys seeking uh, cleansing for some of you guys even doing cleansing on yourself but what they're saying here is that Capricorn you are protected you are guided it's about listening to our intuition we can go off saying I don't understand why life is so hard when you sometimes use people to get what you want or sometimes you use certain situations and circumstances to benefit you and i know that this is not directly speaking to every capricorn out there but what they're telling you here is in regards to protection in regards to uh good karma bad karma it's an understanding of everything that we put out we get in return so you can sit there and say you know, it seems like people are wishing harm on me or they're doing spell work on me or they're effing with me when you yourself haven't been a good person or when you yourself have deceived, deceived other people or when you've taken advantage of people's generosities. And this could be vice versa, you guys. It is a general reading. So this could be you, Capricorn, sitting back and eating popcorn, watching people that have done you wrong really karma slapping them in the straight dead in the face and you're like geez about time this is happening because they've been such shitty people uh it, it's all about cause and effect is what they're telling me here so again let's try the best we can to be very good people capricorn especially right now you should not mess with your daddy which is saturn sitting in your sign uh, it's about structure. It's about planning. It's about momentum in regards to good doing, in regards to hard work. If you try to take the easy route, it's like that quote. Uh, when you're trying to achieve a goal, any shortcut is longer than from point A to point B. I hope that makes sense. So again, it's about being focused, structure, and planning for the future. Uh, no longer looking to the past and again if we're all human we've all messed up at some point it's about understanding it's about learning that lesson and becoming a better person okay now this could be you looking at other people that have done you wrong and being like that piece of <laughs> deserve that or anything like that what they're saying is you're gonna see you're gonna see uh the law of cause and effect or the law of what goes up must come down unfold before you and like i said for some of you guys this is good news because this is you watching people from a distance get their own karma so again uh it's vice versa because it is a general reading okay all right, so the energies that are going to be influencing you for this month of August, you have the ninth house seeking. For some of you guys seeking a new path, uh, seeking a new uh, belief system, seeking a new life path, a new uh, just becoming more knowledgeable, just wanting or having the desire to learn more. For some of you guys, this could be as simplistic as seeking the truth. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be even like listening to, uh, what's that word I'm looking for? Um, what is that word? Um, seeking, like looking into um, hidden meanings of situations and things. Uh, I can't really think of what I'm trying to communicate right now, um, but it could be you seeking the truth behind theories uh behind you know uh ah, jesus i can't think of the word but it'll come to me anyways the ninth house is all to do with 
travel, adventure, higher education, faith, beliefs. For some of you guys, it could even be like seeking a new faith or seeking a new belief system or connecting for some of you guys circumstantial to new belief systems. Now, the next card you have here is the numinous uh, mystery. The unknown, the unknowable, ESPN, psychic abilities, the cosmos, universal truths, oneness. Um, so again, I feel that with the ninth house and uh, the numinous, I feel that for some of you guys, you guys are like trying to seek hidden knowledge. Um, this could be connected to practices. This could be connected to religions. This could be connected to um, theories. uh a wide range of like awakening um just make sure to keep that in check you guys because usually when the ninth house shows up and uh numinous card shows up it usually indicates like when you know with the tinfoil type of thing <laughs> so don't take it to the extreme anyways you also have the north node which is destiny uh some of you guys finding your destined calling some of you guys um really feeling in tune or in connection with higher with higher self or uh finding your true purpose your true uh passion for some of you guys really falling into situations or circumstances that put you around the right person or the right people uh that you need at this point in time so again a lot to do with destiny for you guys for this month of august i wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon bye